ladies and gentlemen, the incidence of stroke in cardiac surgery is somewhere between 1 and 10 percent, one for isolated cabbage and 10 percent for combined uh, procedures. In the syntax study, it was 2.2 percent for the isolated cabbage procedures. The incidence of moderate to the severe ascendance atheroma is up to 34 percent. All surgeons know that aortic cannulation and cross clamping generate shedding of debris. To prevent this, the TTE and TEE are used, however, they are limited in quality and precision to localize plugs. Aortic palpation with digital aortic palpation, which is used by all surgeons, all cardiac surgeons every day, um, does, does correlates with the ultrasonic find, findings in only 50% of the cases. This is known by the literature. Therefore, it was the aim of our study to evaluate the feasibility of the use of APRTIC ultrasonic scanning in the daily surgical practice in the OR. In addition, we wanted to study the effects on changes on the surgical strategy of the um, ultrasonic findings. Therefore, we used an aortic scanner uh, a special designed 15 megahertz probe which gives uh, excellent quality pictures. It's best for the use in vessels from, with a size from 1 to 40 millimeter but can also be used in larger vessels. One advantage is the direct contact to the vessel without the use of bags or additional fluids with the risk of contamination. Doppler measurements can perform for t uh, 2D CFM and pulse wave Doppler. We performed a pilot study within the last eight months. Um, <clears throat> it's an observational single center study involving 129 patients undergoing cardiac surgery. We defined 12 sites of interest in the aorta ascendance in the ventral part, in the dorsal part on the right and on the left side. We looked at the proximal ascendance where the central anastomosis were made. We used, looked at the cross clamp um, position and we looked at the cannulation position and uh, the area where the perfusion beam went. Aortic disease was defined as normal, moderate or severe. We also compared digital palpation to the ultrasonic findings. And of course we looked at the changes on the surgical strategy. On the left hand side you can see our evaluation sheet uh, from the OR. The scanning process was standardized. We looked at the proximal aorta, at the medial aorta and the distal aorta ascendance and at the proximal arch. You can see here excellent quality pictures um, and we can evaluate the complete aorta. We can also evaluate the distal arch and you can see the truncus arteriosus here in this area. Demographic data from our 129 patients, they were 68 years old, 170 were male, hypertension, smoking and diabetes was present, 98 patients were elective, 39 patients were urgent. Aortic calcification was present in the angiogram in 12 patients, bypass time 126 minutes and cross clamp time 82 minutes. 79 patients received isolated cabbage, 16 patients aortic valve replacement, combined surgery in another 26 patients, T-grafting in 15 patients, redo surgery for cabbage in 5 patients and a complex uh, surgery using homograft and arch replacement. Some clinical examples, you can see here the normal aorta with a, a thickness of about 2 mm and here in this area intimal thickening up to 4 to 5 mm. Here calcifications on the right side and also dorsal calcifications. We looked at the positioning of the cannula, you can see that the cannula here is positioned directly to the aortic wall and in uh, and this can be dangerous when calcifications are present and the uh, perfusion beam is directed on these calcifications. And here in this picture the 
cannula is in the right position. We can visualize the perfusion beam and the beam is directed toward the aortic wall in this example and we have a sandblast-like effect and when calcifications are present this might cause neurological complications. On the other side we used another cannula and the perfusion beam is much more smooth and uh, more equal distributed. We also looked at the cross clamp position and you can see here that there are minor uh, changes in the aortic wall. It looks almost normal but on the dorsal uh, side there are severe calcifications here, severe calcifications also in the ventral anterior wall of the aorta. Another extreme example, calcifications growing inside the aorta from the dorsal wall, also calcifications on the anterior wall. And if you try to examine this here with the finger by palpation, you won't, will find nothing, but there are severe calcifications on the dorsal side. There are even, even some uh, floating structures here inside the aorta. In this case, we place the clamp under ultrasonic control in a safe position and open the aorta and what we found you saw it already on the ultrasound severe calcification and it was necessary to replace this aorta ascendance and the hemi arch in 129 patients it was necessary to change the surgical strategy in 27 patients this was something more some more than 20 percent of the patients mostly it was uh, a change of the position of the cross clamp was necessary, the side of the partial clamp was chained and also the side of cannulation was chained in 14% of the cases. We found compared to palpation with the, uh, the digital palpation with um, ultrasonic examination 40% more calcifications in the aorta and here you see what other changes we performed, beating heart surgery, opcap, arch replacement, ascendance replacement, subclavian or femoral cannulation. The outcome in 129 patients was the 30-day mortality was 2.6%. ICU stay 4 days. In 2 patients we needed extracorporeal membrane oxygenation and uh, cerebral vascular accidents. We had in five patients two strokes and two temporary neurophysiological deficits. We have some limitations in our study. It's an observational study, it's not randomized. We have not too many patients at this time. However, from 129 patients and our results, we can conclude that apiotic imaging using ultrasonography is safe, easy, and fast to perform, the procedure needs about one to three minutes. <clears throat> Epiaortic imaging detects aortic plug and wall thickening. Epiaortic imaging facilitates changes in the operative strategy directly in the OR in our sample in more than 20% of the cases. However, the crucial question uh, is not answered yet with our data. Does epiaortic imaging reduce the incidence of stroke? Therefore, it's necessary to perform a large randomized study. Um, this is in preparation in Essen. It's, uh, we, we already started and included 25 patients in two arms with and without epiaortic ultrasonography. And we're looking at the uh, described parameters and especially, of course, at the CVAs uh, clinically. And we also plan to use MRI because this is most sensitive for, neuro, neuro, uh, for, for neurological complications. Thank you for your attention.